Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kara. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And as you all know, Valentine's Day is on Tuesday and I and my boyfriend Alex like to do something a little bit different each year just because the classic dinner and a movie kind of gets a little bit boring seeing as we go to the movies quite a lot. So I thought I would talk about my top five favorite Valentine's Day date ideas and these are just ones that, you know, you're going to have lots of fun at, they're not too expensive and something you can do, you know, after work or whatever. So if you'd like to find out my date ideas, then please keep watching. I've got like a Valentine's Day colored top on for you all, but I thought my number one, well they're not in any order or anything, but my first date idea is going to a time zone like place. Now we in Geelong have a time zone and I know Melbourne they have classic circuits. It's kind of like, oh, what do they call it? Like an arcade. And we did this last week for Valentine's Day and it was so much fun. They had a deal where you pay $30 and you got $50 worth of credit. And we just played lots of games. We won some like lollies and stuff. And it was just so much fun to do something out of the norm. And like we had a photo booth, we had a little photo like booth. And it was really fun. And I also still had some little video clips of last year if I can find them. But going to an arcade is such a really fun idea. Such a cute little you know, idea and it's, you get something fun out of it and you know, sometimes you might get a little prize even if they're crappy. <laughs> so my second date idea is a picnic. Now, Alex and I often go on picnics with his family but it's really nice to, you know, maybe take a picnic down to the beach or take fish and chips down to the beach or just take your dinner somewhere where you can sit and watch the sea the sunset or even just sit on the beach or like a park. Just take something outside and you'll realize that even just having a dinner outside at a different location, it just makes everything so much better and you get a bit of fresh air. It's nice to be out of the house and away and it's a really lovely idea to, you know, you can take some cute Instagram pics and whatever, but that is my second date idea. My third date idea is gold class at the movies. So as I said, you know, you might get sick of the classic movies and dinner. But a lot of movie cinemas these days have like a gold class or a premium. And you might pay a little bit extra and you get a lounge seat, you get food brought to you and stuff like that. And that's just a really special kind of date idea where it's something you don't do all the time, you might not have ever done. And you can like watch a movie you might want to watch, like you know, Fifty Shades stuff is coming out next week. You know, if you feel a little bit frisky, you can go see that. But it's a nice way to spend time together and not just have the classic movie seats and everyone else with you because they have a smaller cinema and there's normally only about 20 people I think in the maximum. I think I've never actually been but that is another idea. My fourth idea is ice skating. Now Alex and I went ice skating two years ago and it was so much fun. I hadn't been ice skating in probably five or so years, even more and it was really really great. They had a, where we went, they had a Valentine's Day special on where you walked in, they gave you a free glass of champagne or whatever. They gave you some ice, um, some chocolate. And then they had a little photo booth set up where you could take Valentine's Day pics. And they had like romantic music and stuff. And it was just so much fun because it was something you don't normally do. And having an experience like that on Valentine's Day has made it really special. So that was something I love doing. And it's really not too expensive either. So my fifth one is visiting an art gallery. Now at the moment, the National Gallery of Victoria in Melbourne has an amazing exhibition on called Tri Any Trivennial. You would have seen it in last month's vlog if you checked that out. But it is absolutely amazing. And I think dates to the art, like art galleries or museum are absolutely amazing because you're getting so much culture and just experience in this one day and you experience it with someone you love and it's just so much fun and the National Gallery of Victoria is free to enter so you can don't have to spend that much you can spend $50 or less on a meal like going to a nice restaurant and not spend anything on the actual date but definitely go check out the NGV if you haven't seen it like it's I think the exhibitions are open until the end of February or even March so definitely check it out while it's still there that is five of my unique Valentine's Day day ideas if you do do any of these please let me know I'd love to know Alex and I are actually planning on going out for dinner and then going to the Ferris wheel down on the beach it's a massive massive one and then going to get gelato because that's just what we want to do because we have work during the day but i really hope you guys enjoy this video make sure as i said to click the subscribe button if you haven't already and click that bell so you don't miss an upload on a tuesday or a thursday and like the video if you haven't already and i'll see you all next week on tuesday which be valentine's day so happy valentine's day for then bye